All right, so this is shapes part two. Um, I'm just going to make a couple more shapes. So I come over here to the shape tool, right? It's on polygon, but I could choose one of these others. I like polygons, though. So I'm going to just click and drag. And notice when I do that, it draws out from the center, which is why when I click and drag here, I expect them to come down with me, but instead they go up off off the board. That's cool because I can just click over here on the black arrow, grab it, move it around. Grab it, move it around. All right. Um, so these are pretty boring. I could go ahead, while I have this selected, I could change the color. Double click. And nice. And let's make this one a color too. All right. But here's what else I could do. Um, so I could have done that. I just click over here on the right side. It doesn't give me as nice of a palette, but I could totally have just, you know, chosen a color over there. Um, but I can also, I could also change the stroke if I wanted. Um, but I can change the opacity, right? So I could take this one and make it transparent and then move it around here like this. Oh. Um, the green one is above it, but again, if I right-click, make sure I'm on the right one, right-click, I can go to Arrange, and I can send that back. And now I can see through the brown one to the other two. So you can start getting really complicated. The other thing over here on the right in this Properties panel, if I select one of these, um, it's here where it says transform, right? But it's hidden. I got to go to these three dots. I can, um, this will let me rotate it and things, but it'll also let me change how many sides these have, right? I can make it seven, eight, nine sides. Um, or I could go down, go back up here is under transform. You got to click on the three dots right there on the top right. I could make it just five or four. Four sides is a square, obviously. Three sides, you get a triangle. Um, what if we do two sides? Oh, it doesn't let us do two sides because two sides is just a line. Uh, so three is the smallest you can go. So it can change the size, change the transparency, change the number of sides, um, stack things. I could come back over hold that down. I could do a star, which is kind of nice. And here's the odd thing, right? What if I want the star to not be, this is uh, eight points, right? Can I come over here to transform and change the number of points on the star? No, no, I can't. <laughs> Why not, Illustrator? That would make perfect sense. Um, no, all I can do, and I don't know why, um, and maybe there's some other place that I just don't know about, but if I, so I made one star, right? If I click, remember if I just click, it's going to ask me if I want to make another one right here, it has a number of points and I could say, oh, I want like just, I don't know, a five pointed star and it'll do that. And then, you know, I can click on that. I'm using again, the black arrow and I can grab it and make it bigger, smaller. As I'm resizing it, if I hold down the shift key, it resizes the width and the height at the same time. I can change the color. I can change the transparency. I can rotate it. So we can start stacking things up and making things complicated and pretty. All right. Uh, that's part two of shapes. Bye-bye.